Okay. Let's go. Okay. Ready here? Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Love and Live show. show. I'm Queen Lenora. And I'm Eli. How are you guys today? Are you going to hit the jingle? Okay, yeah. Relationship advice on your side. Yay! The Love and Live show. The truth of the other side of how you feel. Oh. The Love and Live show. The truth of the other side of how you okay. feel. What question are we tackling first today? I don't know. I Let's do the easy one. All right, let's do an easy one? Yeah, easy one. Okay. I'm afraid that my brother is just like any other man. So, this young lady in question mm -hmm. has seen some behaviors recently from her brother. Okay. He is married, and when she was over at his house, he started talking about his Instagram. She had never followed him on Instagram prior to this, but once she decided to go follow him, she's seen nothing but women being objectified <laughs> on his Instagram. Mm. And he was bragging about all of the women he was following, why he followed them, and even said he downloaded a specific app just to see women, women's body parts, <laughs> in front of not only her, but his wife. How do you feel about this? As the sister or the wife? As either. <laughs> <laughs> you got both perspectives. As a sister, I'm just be like, bro, you're married. Stop trying to act like you're a hoe. Period. I mean, I, and because with my brothers, I'm just really blunt. I, I don't try mm -hmm. to sugarcoat. I don't care if we argue. I don't care. Any, I'm just going to tell you how I feel because I feel like somebody should tell you the truth. You know what I mean? Because I think we all like to sugarcoat or we all want to back off from telling the truth. So I've always been very truthful with my brothers. Yeah. My play brothers, my real brothers, I've just been just straightforward. And I just like straight to that. the point, yeah. Yeah, I like it like that. So I would have just been calling them out. You're being disrespectful to your wife. You you know, this is what it is. Um, I feel like you degrading me as mm -hmm. your sister. Yeah. And so if I feel this way, your wife definitely should feel this way, but I can't mm -hmm. talk for her. But I'm just saying, you're doing too much because can your wife do the same thing you're doing because she yeah. be downloading and have nothing but dudes on her thing and then <laughs> downloads her after you can look at body parts? Mm -hmm. Because if she can't do it, but you you so should do it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, everybody ain't like me. Everybody <laughs> like to sugarcoat to their brother. Everybody, well, they ain't got nothing to do with me. That's how I want my brothers to be men. I never wanted my brothers to be little boys or punks or anything like that. So they knew they were going to get the truth from me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, you know, they don't do that these days. They got a new generation. So I don't know how y'all handle it. But I'm just saying how I did with my brothers. Now, as a wife, well... The guy would have said something once or twice, and then he would have just saw a whole bunch of blank pictures. Okay, okay. So some people swinging low, swinging it low. Oh my goodness! Okay, so we're getting a little. I'm just telling you, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna dish here. out what you dish it so you can feel it. Because a lot of people, like, I just leave it by. Sometimes people don't understand how they will feel about something until they actually go through it. Mm. So then you go to my page and my Instagram and all you see is swinging lows. Then you know, <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Oh, and I'm, I follow this page. Because while he talking, I'm going to be talking to Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I didn't see you on that page. And then when I was on my page, <laughs> so and so, so and so page, and you got to see him for real. Woo woo. <laughs> yes. I'm like, dang. I ain't never saw him like that. Like, he, he would hurry up. <laughs> He would be like, uh, cause he go, he ain't gonna like that. Mm -hmm. He ain't gonna like that. And the first thing gonna come to his mind is he swing a low enough, you know. Mm -hmm. And so that's how it would be. But then, you know, we can play tape for Taff for however long you want. I, I best believe I'm gonna win this game at the end of the day. Yeah. So you gonna either respect me and that stuff is gonna be off, or we both gonna be some disrespectful people. Okay, so both being some disrespectful people. All I'm right. trying not to go there. But okay, I'm just saying. Okay, so I understand that energy, especially when it comes to the wife thing. Yeah. As a sister, you're having a more supportive role. As a wife, you're like, okay, you're just going to keep the same energy. Yep. That makes sense. That's a good... The more you talk about it, more I talk about it. The more you looking, I'm looking. I will put a picture over our bed. Oh, this is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is where you should be reaching for going. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. We can God. play it. I'll tell you, I'll be more hurtful than you are. I'll let you know. I'll say... We shouldn't go that way. Yeah. And honestly, I shouldn't have to go there. Mm -hmm. Me yeah. telling you how I feel the first time should be. Because Enough. we're yeah. married and we're as one. Mm -hmm. So if I'm hurt, you hurt. If I don't like it, you don't like it. Yeah. 
Okay. And then, you know, there's always some people who just really don't care. Exactly. Anything. So I'll show you what that feels like. Yeah. All right. So, but I, in my perspective, uh -huh. all right, that's like even all right. So I, that's like a sister perspective. I can I can go off a of brother perspective. <laughs> if, if my brother was saying something like this, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. You know, I'm over here looking at him a little strange. Like, what is the problem? For one, because. We, we're already doing too much. We're already causing too much of a scene. Why you got your wife? Why you talk in a playful mood? It's fine. You're making, you're cracking a couple yeah. of jokes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in a playful mood, you know? Not not that you're seriously doing it. Oh, like in a just joke. Play, yeah, okay. like just an expression. That ain't real. You know? If you, you being but, totally but serious. But she said she followed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you, if, if, I, joke. if you really pull up on the account and that's what you're seeing, yeah. for one, I got to be like, what's what is going on with you? Is this really the main account or yeah. is this the side account? Because for one, you're embarrassing yourself. Someone you went to school with or something uh, looks you up on whatever social media platform. Yeah. They find your account. This is what they're looking at. Exactly. Businesses, all of that. You know, social media is so tied into life. So first, I'm looking at you straight for that. Yeah. Second of all, you're disrespecting your wife. We don't do that. Um, just in general, like, why would you even want to do that? But then also I got to look at you, Strange, like, why are you even doing that? <laughs> so, and, you know, if it was a one-on-one -on -one thing, you just talking, oh, we just chopping it up. Uh, it is what it is. But for, like, like I said, in general. So would you really be getting on your brother about it, or are you just going to say, what you doing? Oh, no, no. Well, okay. It, okay, so if he's talking about it in front of his wife, that's a that's a really um, yeah. You got to get into it at that point. You know, you got to chop it up in front of his wife. Yeah, you got to chop it up. But if it's just all right, he's talking to me about it. I'm a you know I'm gonna just be asking questions. I'm gonna try to figure out what is going on. Why are you? Even but would doing you this? set the record straight? Would you straighten them out? Because this is women wanting to know this for real. Because. Men, I know you guys have such a like a man code, mm -hmm. so y'all be like, "Man, that ain't cool," and then you guys leave it alone and act like y'all done did some big. Yeah, no, I definitely would do. Man, that ain't cool if it was just came to me and we just talking about it. But if it was in front of the wife and you bring it to that level and you're, you know, you're loudly proclaiming all of these things, or you, you know, no, no, I'm waiting for you to say we can't have that. We're definitely going to are you, confront the Are you the yelling at him? Or are you talking to him? We're going mean, to have a talk of, of about that one if it's in front of the wife, yes, for sure. But if it's not in front of the wife, it's whatever. It it's, not what, it's not a whatever, but, you know, it's, I'm not going to take it that serious because, you know. Why? I'm, I'm going to be more worried about why you're even doing it in the first place. But that's what I'm saying. So why wouldn't you say anything to him? Like That's what I'd be asking. I'd be asking all those questions. I'd be trying to analyze the whole situation, like, for one, is you know, is the wife not enough? What is the problem? What's going on? All of these type of things, you know, it'd be handled differently. When you bring it to the wife and you start getting disrespectful by saying stuff like uh -huh. that, you have to put a certain authority on it. So, yeah. So in front of the wife, there's authority. Behind the scenes is just questions. It's not just questions, but it's more of like, I'm going to try to fill out the situation, try to get more perspective because you're talking to me about it. When you bring it to the wife and it's just, it's escalating. <laughs> it's escalating. You're doing it all in the moment. It's escalating. Now, if we just having a talking and we we stumble on this conversation. I don't think it's I'm a stumble. The curious. way the conversation was said, the way it was, it wasn't a stumbling conversation. So that's no, no, I'm, I'm saying we stumbling on it on a personal conversation. And the person, it's not a stumbling. He's bold about it. He okay, don't care. Yeah, he's bold. So yeah. my thing is. The reason I ask this for me, this is not really for everybody else, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I just really have this issue that men don't really get on men Try like to they set should. People straight, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all like wimp out or punk out, and I'm like, you guys are supposed to be men. Mm -hmm. Why y'all punking out on the situation? Just say, man, you cool. This is disrespectful. Mama didn't raise no food. What the heck is wrong with you? Yeah, like you shouldn't have got married if you wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. Hey, you done brought somebody else. This is her feelings, her emotions. Why y'all don't do that? Yeah. Well, okay, well, and that's also probably because I wasn't even looking at, like, the whole grand scope of the situation. Because, honestly, I don't have nobody that's really... No but you brother have brothers, really like but, but, but if your brother did it. If yeah. they got married, because right now you don't have yeah, brothers yeah, married, yeah. but if your now, brother if got going, married... If I'm channeling, like, that energy off that, like, in that situation, right? 
like I said, I'm gonna just be so kid. Like, what is like literally? What is the problem? Like, what are the the things that are making you do this? And of course, I'm gonna have to confront. But I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm a. I'm gonna definitely be more easy on it. And I don't know where that comes from. That's just. That's I think it's just men let men do whatever the heck they want to do. No, but well, there is certain points. Y'all don't hold any, like Y'all don't hold a man accountable to do anything. So then, when that's there is true. a that's man that comes out to hold another man accountable, then y'all look at him like he's wrong. But it's been y'all wrong that's the whole not, time. That is not true. That, that is, is true because you just said everything at normal man. Even though you young, mm -hmm. you just said everything that most men do. Yes. And I'm saying is like, why are you guys so scared of each other? Like, when is the problem? Because I know girls, we can go off. Sisters, that we don't play that. Yeah. Unless we just don't care, we are. Unless we doing the same exact thing, if you got one sister that doing it and another sister, ain't, we going off on each other. And we don't care because we want our sisters to be better than that. Mm -hmm. you. Got a good man, and this is how you gonna disrespect your man. You tripping? That we going off, mm -hmm. but you man is like, well, I'm just gonna ask it. Now you know I'm gonna try to do some investigation and see what's going on. <laughs> why are we doing that? I mean, what? what What's the problem, man? When you can't hold your brother accountable and you can't make him stand up to be the man that he's supposed to be, that's a weak. That's a pump. I'm sorry. That is what it is. Like, you guys can call it what you want. Y'all can all be mad at me. But that's what that is. That's the thing. I've never been in that situation where I had to even, you know. I get that. But I'm just saying, you said answering just like regular men. So yeah. this is a normal common thing to you. How many times of anybody that you know that might have dated somebody that might have disrespected a female that you actually said, man, you wrong. You overstepping your boundaries. I don't play that. Probably even about three times in See? life. Yeah. I have this one. I call him. Um, he's my uncle. Matter of fact, he's not my uncle because I, you know, I had a crush on him my whole life. But he's my uncle because his wife and my auntie. So, <laughs> and he's always been fine. He's just been a really like good man. And I remember um, I had a barbecue at my house and we me and Chris was having barbecues all the time. We was in the little tiny apartment to have parties like we was in a mansion, y'all. We was doing it up. And um I remember um my sister was getting ready to go and I think she was asking for a ride or something like that. No, she was like she went to the bus stop or whatever and the other guy was like Oh, you going to the bus stop? So I said, so like, yeah. And then my uncle, the one I said I had a crush on, went off on him. And, like, everybody was shocked because you'd never seen this uncle get mad. Like, you never seen him go off. You never seen, it's so totally out of his character. It's like seeing Eli get mad or something. It's just way off his character. He said, that is a young lady. If you, even if you couldn't give a ride, you should say, can I walk you to the bus stop? Can I get you a cab? You don't just sit there and ask her where she, oh, you leaving y'all here this late and then that's it. And I mean, he went completely off. And all I could say to myself is that, that's the man. Now his wife was there. Everybody was there. And I mean, there was tons of men there, just like there was tons of women. And we all was like, when we all was like this, because it'd be like Eli yelling at somebody. So we were all like, but it tells you the difference of what a real man is to what these boys are. And these boys are calling themselves men, but they can't stand up for somebody. And that is a problem to me. That is like a real deep issue problem for me to see that men don't have the thought process to protect us women. But we are the women that bear your kids. We are the women that take care of you. We are the women that do all these stuff. And regardless, if that woman is not the one that's doing it for you, she still is a woman and she's there period mm -hmm. on this earth. And how dare you not be able to stick up for her. I'm not saying you got to fight the person. I'm not saying they got to go to blow, but you got to stand your ground and say, I'm not tolerating no man disrespecting any woman, period. I don't care who you are. Mother, daddy, brother, sister. I just not, you know what I mean? I just, I, I would like to see that. Because women that go all the time, they, for boyfriends, and that irritates me too. A woman to stick up for a man in a minute. But a man won't stick up for that woman. And when a man does stick up for a woman, it's like this 
Oh my God, how dare you stick up for a woman? Mm. But a woman uh, fight for a man, all that. That's my man. Girl, he ain't put a ring on it. He ain't got nothing. To, he, girl, he probably didn't do nothing but give you some disease and a heartache, please. And you done stuck up for this man. You know what I mean? Mm. But men, they don't do that. And I, and it, it's women, we got to stop allowing men to do that because that is ridiculous. Period. If a man ain't sticking up for you, run. And don't hurry up and get married to him. Don't run to the altar. Run away from the altar. <laughs> don't run to the altar. No, because I'm just assuming that the guy was like this before they got married. <coughs> but my thing oh, is, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. But like the sister said, she don't know how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. And I, she feels offended. But, you know, and I know a lot of times it's like, this is your marriage and she accepted you. But my thing is, come on. I'm, look, I'm sweating and I ain't, even, I ain't got no lights on and I'm upset. <laughs> Face hot and everything. Yeah, I don't like it. So, yeah. We all remember to love and live. Each day. As if. It were. Your. Lights. Smooches. Smooches. Oh, the true love. Tell me how you feel. Okay. The love.